Scientists expected the Mars rover's spirit and opportunity to run for three months. Three years later, the hardy rovers are still operating on opposite sides of the red planet. This is Opportunity's story. We're on Mars, everybody. Well, Opportunity was, was blessed with good fortune right from Sol 1, uh, right from the first day. Because when we landed and we took that first images from the lander, we looked around, we were in this tiny little crater we call it Eagle Crater, but there was exposed bedrock. It was just this flat sand field with, with a little curb of outcrop rock. Everybody was stunned. We found bedrock. We found rock attached to the planet. We went to Meridiani Planum based on a, a clue of hematite. Hematite, a mineral that on Earth forms in the presence of water, liquid water. And to see it in these blueberries, in these round spherules strewn across the surface, that that was the nature of the hematite, I don't think anybody predicted ahead of time. Next, Opportunity set a course for Endurance Crater. Engineers on Earth had to teach her to drive downhill, taking grindings along the way. They would drive down a few meters, uh, do a rat hole in the outcrop rock, and analyze it for chemicals. And so they were able to see how the mineral composition of the rocks changed as, as you went further down. Mars did have a watery past. It was episodic in that sometimes it was wet and sometimes it was dry. You know, not unlike the uh, Death Valley here in California. We knew six kilometers to the south was this giant crater called Victoria. Wow, six kilometers away. Could we get there? Take this rover, uh, kind of laboriously work our way through this huge maze of ripples to get ourselves south to the scientific promised land. All of a sudden we got to one day where we drove over a dune and stopped. For weeks, Opportunity sat in a sand trap. Engineers raided hardware stores to buy materials to simulate a Martian sand dune. They created a technique of maneuvering a few centimeters at a time to extract her. The next big challenge that hit us is the uh, robotic arm on Opportunity uh, developed uh, a, a degradation in, in one of its joints. Now, uh, when we drive Opportunity, we have to be sure that wherever we're driving her to, she's going to end up in a place where it's safe to take the arm back out. Even with the Asian rovers, we've been able to, to still return uh, the same amount of science. After a stop to examine more layered outcrops at Eurebus Crater, Opportunity reached the promised land, Victoria. I think we've gone from Mars being an, a place that's star-like, that's otherworldly of the realm of astronomers, to a place that geologists and climatologists roam, where it's a world that works sort of like our world. As Opportunity explores Victoria, the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter will keep a watchful eye.